Okay, first we're going to have a look at a question where we're looking at adding and subtracting decimals. So because there are two operations in the question, I often I think it's recommended that you actually split this question into two, two parts so we can deal with them one at a time. So the first part um, is we're going to subtract 15, 36, um, from that we're going to subtract 2, 426. We've got to have the same number of decimals in each part, so I have to add a 0 to the 15,36, 0. And then we just standard column method subtraction. So let's just quickly do that. 0 minus 6 can't do, so we have to borrow. Um, so it's now 10 minus 6, which is 4. 5 minus 2 is 3. 3 minus 4 can't do, so I have to borrow from the number to the left, 4. Now it's 13 minus 4, which is 9. Keep the comma in the right place. 4 minus 2 is 2. 1 minus, and there's obviously a 0 there. Uh, 1 minus 0 is 1. So our answer is going to be 12,934. So that's the first part of the question. So we've now dealt with the subtraction. We're going to take that number, 12,934, and we're just going to have to add the last part, which was 0, 6, 8. So once again, I must add a, a 0 so that we have the same number of decimals with both numbers. Um, and the addition here is fairly straightforward. So 4 and 0 is 4. 3 and 8 is um, 11, so I've got to carry the 1. 9 and 6 is 15, plus the 1 is 16. Carry the 1. 2 and 1 is 3. Make sure I put the comma there, and 1 and 0 is going to be 1. So your final answer is going to be 13,614. Okay, now that we're adding and multiplying, I've spelled multiplying wrong, decimals, we've got to be aware of the bod maths, and multiplication comes before addition. So once again, we're going to split this question up into two separate working areas, and we're first going to do the multiplication. So how I like to imagine that is we just look at the, it, as though it's a number without the, the decimal, so it's actually just, we think of 162 and times 4, and then we'll add the decimals at the end. So 162 times 4 using column method of multiplication. 4 times 2 is 8. 4 times 6 is 24. So we've got to carry that 2. 4 times 1 is 4 plus the 2 is 6. Okay. But then when we actually write our answer, we've got to have the same, same number of digits in the question. So for example, there were three uh, in, in the question there were three digits to the right of the comma. Our final answer also has to have three digits, so we write that out as 0, 0,648. So there's still three digits to the right of the comma. And then the second part is relatively straightforward. We just take what we've got, 0, 0,648. To that we're going to add 0, 0,36. Don't forget the the zero that we have to add on. 8 plus 0 is 8. 4 plus 6 is 10. Carry the 1. 6 plus 3 is 9. Plus the 1 is 10. So carry the 1 again. So we're going to have a final answer of 1, 0, 0, 8.